I'm Florence Clark, President of the American Occupational Therapy Association, and I'm so pleased to be able to talk to you, the advanced, our, our advanced practitioners, on what the AOTA Annual Conference offers you. One of the things that I love most about the conference is that it has no, no less than 900 sessions, and they're at many different levels. And at the same time, at AOTA, you can be in a, in a whole world of occupational therapy practitioners and network and really feel a part of what is, what is happening in our whole profession. I think that the AOTA conference fortifies you to go to other conferences and be a, a more, much more informed voice. I go to ACRM, I go to the GSA conferences, but because I go to the AOTA conferences, when I go to those conferences, I'm in a much better position to really let others know about the state of art happenings in occupational therapy. San Diego is paradise. If you haven't been to San Diego, you need to get there sometime in your life. San Diego is gorgeous. It has these amazing beaches surrounded by beautiful hillsides, wonderful dining. Last time I was in San Diego, I was at the greatest restaurant, and I had one of the best nights of my life. And San Diego just opens up a whole world for you of the beautiful life. So in addition to going to the AOTA conference and really fortifying yourself, learning about not the, the government side of OT, the advanced practice side of OT, networking with people who were educated as you were and are your fellow occupational therapy practitioners, you're going to get to have a terrific time in a beautiful, gorgeous city. And I really want you to be there to hear me make my final presidential speech. I've given a series of, I think by now it's three speeches. And they've all been about ways in which we can embody concepts that are going to make us stronger in the healthcare arena. I started talking about power and the words in the Centennial Vision, the words of power and creating public awareness. And last year I talked about evidence and our need to be fully evidence-based practitioners and how to do that. And this year I'm sort of seeing us, I'm thinking from above, looking at from above diverse, our need for diversity and to connect globally. And all of those are words in our centennial vision. And I hope you'll come so that you can hear me really speak about how I see us moving forward toward the centennial vision. I hope to see you in San Diego. Thank you so much. And thank you for su supporting AOTA. Hi, I'm Jenny Stolfel, President-elect of the American Occupational Therapy Association. For me, a uh, conference is an opportunity to really connect with other people, and that's where it's such a plus for advanced practitioners, because as you go to sessions that are um, around your interest, you meet other people, you connect, um, sometimes you challenge the speakers um, so that they actually give you deeper information about best practices, about some of the dilemmas that they've run into, and hopefully they tap into your knowledge, because it really is that kind of coming together that forms community that creates the kind of excitement and energy that can help advanced practitioners further their practice but also contribute to the profession. Well, um, as I mentioned, uh, part of annual conference isn't just the educational sessions but the networking opportunities. So spending time having breakfast, lunch, dinner, beverages at whatever time of the day, uh, an opportunity to really talk about what's happening right in your own backyard and for you to connect with people not just from across the U.S. but sometimes we've got visitors from other parts of the world so that you really can get a perspective on what you're doing. Um, in some ways it may be far more unique than you realize and that you may actually have something to contribute the next time around so that hopefully at the next conference you become part of the new cadre of people presenting. Well, for me, San Diego is kind of a, um, a very special opportunity to become the next AOTA president. So it's the kind of thing where, in a very public way, I will um, celebrate that with all the people who have helped me get there, as well as call on all the others uh, to really join with me, um, providing the kind of leadership that AOTA needs, not only at the, you know, at the headquarters, but across the country in the form of every pixel, as, as Dr. Clark 
has framed all of us as active members. Uh, one of the things you'll hear from me is every member a leader. And um, when leaders can um, connect with each other in heartfelt kind of ways, heartfelt leadership is a piece that I really feel uh, I bring to the table. And my hope is that ultimately, if we all take on that same mantle of heartfelt leadership, ultimately we impact the people we serve and, and we deliver services with compassion. Uh, compassionate care, I believe, is, is a piece that emanates from uh, heartfelt leadership to compassionate care.